When I was younger, I had this neighbor who was like my, my third grandma. She was this lovely, posh lady. And uh, I went shopping with her once and she, she gave me a very valuable lesson. She said, Jure, I'm not so rich to be buying cheap. I'm not that rich to buy cheap. And uh, this just resonates with me, stayed in my head, because what she meant is that buying cheap products uh, on the long run is more expensive, uh, whether it be, um, let's say, an opportunity cost, so how you look in that cheaper thing, or, or, or just because of the quality, because they will ruin uh, quicker, faster. That's why for my winter wear, for example, my coat, I always buy an incredible coat because that lasts me years. And um, I think same goes for makeup, not that much. Also for the looks, but especially for the quality of your health. So because of the health that cheaper products might affect, which means, for example, Foundation. Foundation uh, is, is a big problem if you're applying it on each day. We'll be talking about foundations later more. But I noticed that still high-end brands uh, use better products. I mean, better chemicals in them and so on. And uh, also the finished look is, is better. Because, for example, let's say Lancome and L'Oreal have pretty much the same foundation. So L'Oreal is a cheaper brand of Lancome. So the foundations that you find with Lancome and that are amazing, you'll also find with L'Oreal. And there are a lot of brands like this, for example, Chanel and Bourgeois. Uh, but but still in the foundations they they put cheaper products and it shows as on the skin and also i i believe i don't have any proof i mean i do in a way um but i i can't prove still that that it affects your health on on a long run because there's no researchers on that though i i would just be mindful of what i'm i'm putting on my skin well, not that there, there are not any, any researches, but I, I don't feel competent to, to talk about this. I just like my makeup to be more natural because um, I, I've seen people getting allergic reactions. That might be one, one thing. There are a lot of women actually uh, who got uh, an intense allergic reaction, especially of knockoff products. So be, be really, careful to buy um, something that is proven. So th think about it this way as well. There are a lot of products that in certain countries are approved and in certain countries are not. Um, and, and that's what you always need to take into account when buying makeup. So some stuff will be more expensive because it got so many certificates that uh, it needed in order to sell in a certain market. Brushes don't need to be that amazing, actually. There's no need to buy high-end brushes because they will start losing hairs anyways. Uh, brushes are that good. I, I would buy my brushes uh, pretty pretty cheap. Uh, so uh, just read reviews, see what brushes uh, are, are the best on the market, what people uh, usually use and when, when I check such reviews I I don't listen to younger girls because usually they're just trying to sell products to me uh, I, I don't watch uh, big youtubers as well because uh, most of the time those reviews are, are paid when you are big you don't do free stuff uh, I, I believe I mean not many people do uh, whereas if there's this emerging uh, makeup channels, people try to, to be very honest. And uh, that's what I appreciate. And I usually uh, have a look at such reviews. Powders can be cheaper. Uh, powders are easier to make. That's why 
when you, you see this startup makeup brand, they usually launch an eyeshadow palette or a blush because they're way, way easier to make well, good than to make lipstick or, or foundation. Still, foundation is the hardest to make, actually. Lip lipsticks are, are easy, uh, in a way. If you watch these documentaries, you see one lady in Las Vegas, I think, or wherever, mixing stuff for uh, a lot of uh, world-known brands, uh, and they're, they're not that different, actually. I don't think you need a high-end mascara as well. And a good example is uh, Lancome, who has hip nose and so on, really good mascaras. And then L'Oreal, who has incredible mascaras, uh, for my opinion. And uh, they, they work just as well as, as the high-end. No high-end lipsticks uh, as well, as I said previously. Whereas I understand the idea of lipstick by pulling that lipstick out, lipstick is sexy, and um, by pu you know putting it on your lips, let it be red lipstick, for example, on, on a date, I find it very attractive. So if you would have um, a normal not, not lipstick that's not special, or a Guerlain that opens and that uh, <laughs> mirror pops out, or Yves Saint Laurent, like a golden one, and if she would put it on her lips uh, on a date, I I find it attractive, and I believe lots of guys do as well. So yeah, lipstick. Um, you, you the the textures are pretty much uh, the same. Um, I mean, you can find really good lipsticks uh, uh, in a drugstore makeup, but high end just looks sexy. Though you don't need it. That that's my point. The main lesson here is actually think about how much money you spend on makeup. I think women don't do this enough. Not, not just women, in general, people. Um, you go in a store and uh, you see this that you wanted and it's a, a purchase that you hyped about and you just buy it and then... Uh, it's not something that you would use, happens with clothes, happens with makeup as well. That's why I think when it comes to makeup, it's um, you, you need to think about it as structuring your wardrobe. So for example, in one year you, you find yellow is uh, very popular and you buy yellow stuff, but you don't have anything to match yellow stuff with, so you need to buy new trousers as well. And then the next year something new is popular and you can't match green with red trousers because you look like uh, Christmas. <laughs> um, and, and same goes for makeup. You, I wouldn't buy trendy makeup products. I would structure my makeup uh, I mean, kit in a way, so that I would have uh, matching colors and so on. But most of all, uh, I'll talk about that in the in the next video. But most of all, is how you approach this. Uh, so you have your essential makeup products, let's say foundation, um, because you you want your skin to 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 look perfect. You have perfect skin. You don't need foundation. You need concealer. So buy a better concealer, and that's how you need to think about buying makeup buy good products, products that you need, buy them good of, of good quality. So for example, if you're all about a mascara, just get yourself a mascara that doesn't clump, doesn't fall off and stuff like this. And, and if you like doing your eyes makeup, just get an incredible eyeshadow and then calculate. This is very important and, and <laughs> I, I encourage you to do um, just think about how long are you using a certain product. Put everything on a paper that you'll understand how much money you actually spend on makeup each year. You might think that I'm crazy because uh, it, it's weird to, to buy so much. Trust me, you'll get a far better result by seeing what product you use um, uh, in what amount of time and just uh, start buying accordingly. One thing I think you definitely need to spend a, a, 
a lot of money, well, not a lot of money, but buy, buy a good product is uh, black coal pencil. That will, that will always work, work magic. And also think about it, for example, if you can't wear a black pencil, because everything washes off, if you can't wear, for example, a good eye makeup because the eyeshadow just wears off and there's nothing pretty much you can do, uh, there's no eye primer that works and so on, just don't bother. It's not like because you will buy a better eyeshadow, it, it will stay on. We have certain characteristics, features, let's say, that don't allow us to do something, to wear certain type of makeup and so on. Therefore, don't spend a lot of money on something that will resolve that issue because it, it, it just won't. And concentrate on something else. Well, in some cases, it will. Um, you, you can get a waterproof pencil that... I don't know, might work for you, but, but it's a lot of, of struggle to find the right one. But, but what I wanted to say is um, focus on, on something else. Focus, if your eye makeup is not, you know, or, or, mean I'm, or, or, or you're, you don't want to apply eye makeup, you don't feel like it, or your eye doesn't allow you to do a, an awesome eye makeup, you, you might be okay with uh, eyebrows, you know, you do this, awesome eyebrows, so there's the attractions on your eyes still, and you apply mascara and you look great, or, or focus on the lips. Uh, maybe you have nice cheeks, cheekbones, but we'll talk about this psychology in the next video.